To Kill a Mockingbird, chapter 2. This is video number 9. Let me start with some review questions, right? First question. How does Jam, who is our narrator's brother, right? Explain the fact that uh, she can read so well <clears throat> and so early in life. Answer? Well, according to him, she is not actually part of the family, all right? She was swapped when she was born, you know, at the nursery there, at the hospital. And she is actually Boo Finch's daughter. Next question. Who was Thomas Boo Finch? Uh, answer. Thomas Boo Finch was a guy who wrote important books on mythology, you know, and he's hugely popular in the United States. I don't know if he is so much, I don't know, nowadays, right, people have changed so much, but he's very important in the history of, uh, of uh, the, the, I don't know, American culture, right? I say I don't know about today because, for example, Monteiro Lobato is supposed to be very important for us, but I don't know how many kids know Monteiro Lobato nowadays, right? So. Machado de Cis is very, very important. I don't know how many people have actually read, not studied, uh, read Machado de Cis, right? I'm looking at my shelf because I think there is a, an edition in Portuguese. Yes, of uh, Boo Finch's mythology. You know, this is a... It gets just the Greek and Roman mythology. Um, <clears throat> you know, um, if you are interested in mythology, Maybe Bullfinch would be a nice place to start, maybe, you know, because he tells the stories from a lot of sources, you know, and he has personality, you know, he commands and so he's, uh, it's interesting, it's interesting, I, I would, I would, if I were you, and if I were interested in mythology, right, before you go to Homer and things like that. Um, well, let's continue. Let me see if I have any other questions. Oh yes, question. Why was Miss Caroline uh, disappointed at uh, Jean? Jean is our narrator, right? Answer? Uh, she was disappointed at Jean because she already knew how to write and read. She was already uh, literate, right? Question. According to Miss Caroline, what should Jean's father do and why? Answer. Well, he should stop teaching her because it can interfere with uh, Jean's education. Question. How did the class feel when Miss Caroline read the story? Um, answer, <clears throat> well, the class felt jittery, right? They couldn't stand still, uh, just like a bucket, uh, a, a bucket of um, catalba worms, right? Uh, question, what is a more common way to say catalba worms? Answer, caterpillar. I was, let me just see if I put it in our... Yeah, of course I did. Caterpillar. Now, you got a, I got a little distracted. And I have a warning. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, in one of the phonetical transcripts I put there, I put the, defini uh, the, 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 the phonetical transcript Keta. You know, Caterpillar. Uh, in, instead of Caterpillar. That's the British pronunciation, okay? I'm going to cater. I'm going to make it American because we are using the American pronunciation. Okay, now it's it's nice. <clears throat> uh, well, no more questions. No more questions. Let's go on. I was swapped when I was born, and I'm really a Miss Caroline. Apparently, thought I was lying. Let's not let our imaginations run away with us, dear. She said. Now you tell your father not to teach you anymore. It's best to begin reading with a fresh mind. 
you tell him I'll take over from here and try to undo the damage. Uh, <laughs> Ma'am, uh, Jean said, your father does not know how to teach. You can have a seat now. I mumbled that I was sorry and retired meditation, meditating upon my crime. Uh, her crime, of course, knowing how to read so well. I never deliberately learned to read, but somehow I had been wallowing illicitly in the daily papers. Uh, wallow is what pigs do in the mud. Um, let me see if I put... Yes, I put a nice picture of um, a pig there wallowing, uh, like rolling around in the mud, right? But somehow I had been wallowing illicitly in the daily papers. Of course, the idea here is a negative sense, right? Because she has just learned now that it's very wrong that this kind of ability she has, right? In the long hours of church, <clears throat> was it then I learned? I could not remember not being able to read hymns. Now that I was compelled to think about it, reading was something that just came to me, as learning to, fas to fasten the seat of my union suit without looking around, or achieving two bows from a snarl of shoelaces. Well, let's go by parts. Well, I, I think this part when she says achieving two bows uh, from my snarl of uh, shoelaces. Um, well, I put there just a snarl, right? A snarl is a tangled mess as of hair or yarn. So you have, you know, like um, the laces there, and uh, you just get the snarl of laces and you achieve two bows. In what kind of situation would you do that? Answer. Well, when you tie your shoes, right? Well, we can understand that very well. I can't remember when I was when I learned how to achieve two bows from a snarl of shoelaces, right? But what about this learning to fasten? Fasten is like clothes, right? Remember when you fasten your seat belt? Learning to fasten the seat of my union suit. Union suit. I think is the point, right? Well, uh, this is very cultural. I put um, a picture there of a union suit. I don't know if you remember, but in some movies we have uh, uh, movies or cartoons, you know, have people wearing union suits. That is a suit that, you know, covers all of your body. And I don't know if you know, but there is on the back part, in the part of the butt, there's a part you can open. Why can you open it? Because maybe you're going to you have to go to the bathroom, right? And you you can't just take the whole thing out, all right? So for a child wearing a union suit, it would be uh, pretty basic knowledge learning how to you know. You open the the back part and then you go to the bathroom and then you have to close it again, right? So take a look. Uh, learning to fasten the seat, the, the part where you sit, of my union seat without, uh, sorry, of my union suit without looking around or achieving two bowls from a snarl of shoelace. I'm going to start a new video because of battery.